me and you is John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. I hope you all had a good Father's Day. I hope you got all the, the presents and things you wanted and got a little bit of attention spent on you. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't go and see my dad because he's still still locked down because of the, the virus. But uh, I spoke to him on the phone and I did give him a wave. He was at the window and he's, uh, he's doing all right. He's looking very well. Uh, I've been looked after. I've been spoiled rotten. I've had a nice big steak and I've got some bottles of wine. Um, family's looked after us. This week's nightcaps, I've got the normal mixture in, a little bit of machining, tiny little bit of plasma cutting, some cast iron brazen that do a repair on a little cast iron trail I hope. There's some more names come in for the draw, 40 or 50 names. If you haven't entered my monthly giveaway, all you've got to do is send me an email, that's me. Even if it's just up there, all you need is a name, your full name like John Mills, not just John. Your name goes into the bucket, if it's drawn out. I'll post the prizes off to you anywhere in the world, completely free of charge. I got a really nice email this week of a lady called Natasha Griffiths. And she says, John, will you give us a shout out for my boyfriend or for our partner, a lad called Thomas Williams. Well, there you are, Thomas. I've shouted your name out. Anyway, thanks for the email. It was really, well, humbling, I suppose. Anyway. I've got quite an interesting little thread repair job to do here. This is a receiver of an air rifle. In that hole there, which is 8 BSP, there's a little pressure gauge screws in. And unfortunately, the threads are all stripped. The threads are pulled out of there. The threads actually 8 BSP, which is 828. I've ordered an 8 BSP helicoil kit. So I'm going to try and carefully drill that out and put the helicoil in. When this came to me, it actually had two washers on there. So it was trying to seal on that face, against that face. And really it should seal on the bottom of the hole. That should be a, a nice flat face on the bottom of the hole. And probably a fibre washer in there. So I'm going to set this up in the middle of the machine, drill that, and try and repair the threads. It's got one chance either it works or it, or it doesn't work basically. But hopefully you'll be able to get this thing sorted out for him. Before I start drilling holes in his gun, I'm going to have a little test go on this piece of aluminium bar. With the drill you've supplied to put the insert in is actually 9.9mm .9 drill, but I want to try and use a 10mm milling cutter so I get a nice flat bottom on the hole so I'm going to put a 10 mil mil cutter into there and then see if I can get a helicoil insert to go in. Right so that's a 10 mil milling cutter. So I've got a nice flat bottom hole. Let's put some nice threads in there. Not pleasant. Not pleasant at all. <coughs> I'll actually snap the tang off the off the thing there. I may have to make it. A better insert tool or a better installing tool. Right, it's actually way in there, it started. You screw it in until the top threads, one below. That's actually trying to jump a little bit. Right, so that's now in. The little tag snaps off like that. Now 
Right, so we've got some threads in there now. And that screws in. Still not the best fit in the world, but... All I can do is give it a go and see what happens. I put a parallel under the barrel. I've got a nice grip on it on there. Need to see how deep we can go. Six and a half mil to the bottom of the hole. I've moved around with the axis and I've got that lined up so it's touching that point all the way around quite nicely. So basically that's the hole centered. And there comes a point I'm just gonna have to to drill a hole in this. That's 6.5 there. And I can get another half a mil, which should give us a flat bottom hole. Right, that's 7 mil now, and that looks, looks pretty good. So we'll do a top and go down for a depth of 7 mil as well. Right. I'm just going to make it so that the handle of the Machines at a lot better angle, which is about there. Zero. Right, that's all the way down. Looks quite nice. See, they're notoriously awkward to get started on a, on a fine thread. You want to go in cross thread all the time. That one seems to have gone in quite nicely. And it's just below the surface. Let's jump the thread. Right, so that's going to come out. It's actually the bottom parts of the threads are going in quite nicely and it's jumping at the top for some reason. It's 
just jump the thread again. Oop. Take it out and start again. Turn the camera off in a minute and get the bastard thing, bastard thing in. Very right, surely this time we're going to get one in straight. Jump the top thread again. What a bastard. Nearly there. Nearly there. Oh, that looks good. I think we may have some threads in there now. Get the driving tongue out. You know, when you don't want them to snap off, the bastard things snap off all the time. When you want it to snap off, it won't. Could be in for a fighting chance here. No need to find a suitable washer to go in the bottom of that hole. Right, we've got a washer that goes in there now. Nice stiff fiber washer. That's right in the bottom of the hole. So now, hopefully, the little pressure gauge should screw in. I nearly put some Loctite on the threads, but I thought better of it. Right, that's tight. Got a charge bottle here. Not sure what's in the bottle, but it's... Right, and that's reading 150 bar. Work the action in there. Appears to be good. Let's watch for that gauge dropping pressure. I do I think it's going to? Got some leak detector. If it's going to leak, this will find it. Just basically fancy soapy water and any leaks it really froths up like frog spawn. But that looks good. It's quite interesting how the rifle works. As a magazine goes in there, you pull that back and it cocks a hammer, push it forward, and the chamber has a pellet. And safety catch on the bottom, pull the trigger, and that's it. Lets a certain amount of air go through. And pushes the pellet out of the barrel. Quite nicely made. 